Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So today I'm going to explain you mechanism of enzyme action. What are these enzymes? Enzymes are thermolabile compounds. That means they are very heat sensitive. And enzymes are referred as a biological catalyst because they are going to enhance the rate of reactions. So the enzymes are synthesized in our living cells and these are low molecular weight uh, proteins and majority of enzymes in our body are proteins with certain exceptions like some of the RNAs also have got enzymatic act activity and the example for that is ribozyme. Now let me explain you how exactly enzymes will convert a substrate into a product molecule. Now all enzymes, they have got a special site that is called as active site. As you can see here in the figure that a three dimensional structure of an enzyme, it has got a special pocket which is a, a deeply buried, buried a cleft or a crevice uh, which is acting as an active site. That means that active site has got a functional group uh, present in the amino acids like amino acid side chains they are going to interact with the substrate. So that's where the substrate will bind. So active site is the one which will accept substrate, thereby substrate eventually can be converted into product. Now, how exactly substrate is going to go and fit there? And this particular process, it will be explained by a scientist called um, Coastland. So the model is referred as Coastland's induced fit model. So how that will work? Consider this is an enzyme, my palm is an enzyme here and uh, this is an active site. So this is an active site of an enzyme. Consider this is an active site of an enzyme and it has amino acid sequence there which will have its side chain and consider this is the substrate. Okay. So as the substrate will go and bind to an enzyme, makes an initial contact with an enzyme like my thumb makes an initial contact because of that initial contact with the substrate so enzymes active site will undergo conformational change and that conformational change is to adapt to a substrate shape so it becomes complementary thereby more bonds are formed there so that means more binding energy is released because as the substrate makes an initial contact that is the binding process there so because of that, there will be confirmation and change in the other part of the active site so that it will accommodate according to the shape of the substrate. So that makes a proper fit and when the proper fit occurs, more and more bonds will go on there and that will release a binding energy. Now, what if the substrate was of different shape? So in order to explain that to you, I'm going to take this uh, eraser here. So this particular substrate and here is the active site so as the substrate will go and make an initial contact so there will be conformational change in the active site and it's going to accommodate according to the shape of the substrate making it complementary shape so that means more and more bonds are formed and that means binding energy is released now how exactly your enzyme is going to take substrate into a product so in order to explain that to you, so let me write down a plot here. So my substrate is up here. So the energy of substrate is here. So the substrate when it binds to, so uh, before I explain uh, catalyzed reaction, let me explain you what will happen to the substrate in the absence of enzyme. So it is an uncatalyzed reaction. So substrate, even if enzyme is not present, it can be converted to product. The only thing is so substrate has to be taken into its transition state that is ST, substrate transition state. It's the highest energy state for the substrate and then from transition state it can fall down as a product. Okay. Now if you look at the energy levels of substrate and the product. So here is the energy level of substrate. So I'm going to put it as a dotted line. So this is the energy level of substrate and uh, here is the energy level of product. Okay. So now the difference in the energy level of substrate and the product, that is a change in the 
energy level in the system when the substrate is converted to product we denote it as delta G and delta G as you might be knowing it is referred as Gibbs free energy all right now what will happen in the presence and also uh, energy that is required to take substrate into its transition state and this energy I am going to denote it as a arrow so this much is the energy that is needed to take substrate into its transition state and this energy here we refer that as delta G plus plus delta G plus plus and that is actually referred as activation energy activation energy so activation energy is the energy that is required for a substrate to go into its transition state and this happens in the absence of enzyme this is what is the delta G plus plus or activation energy in the absence of enzyme now let's see uh, what happens in the presence of enzyme how these enzymes are acting as a biological catalyst how they are going to enhance the rate of reaction so in the presence of enzyme what will happen so substrate is going to bind with the enzyme so you get the enzyme substrate complex so I'm going to use a different color now uh, okay I'll use red color so substrate binding with enzyme so you have enzyme substrate complex and then it is taken into its transition state taken into transition state and then it will make a product it will become a product so that means substrate enzyme substrate complex so enzyme substrate transition state and then you have enzyme product so basically you make an enzyme product and uh, enzyme is separated and the product is released product is released okay so now let's see what is the energy that is required to take substrate into its transition state while binding to an enzyme I am going to draw that arrow with the blue line here this is the arrow which is indicating delta G plus plus in the presence of enzyme so now look at the difference so the in the presence of enzyme so the delta G plus plus that is the activation energy delta G plus plus is very low or less compared to in the absence of enzyme so this blue line here is indicating uncatalyzed reaction this is an uncatalyzed reaction uncatalyzed means there is no enzyme participation there whereas the red line is a catalyzed reaction catalyzed reaction because there is enzyme participation so in the absence of enzyme in uncatalyzed reaction activation energy is higher delta G plus plus value is higher whereas in the presence of enzyme delta G plus plus value is lower and that's the exactly what enzymes do so enzymes they simply decrease the activation energy or the delta G plus plus how they will decrease delta, delta G plus plus because when the substrate makes initial contact there will be conformational change in the enzyme active site and there will be proper fitting more and more bonds are forming between the substrate and the enzyme and binding energy is released and that binding energy is going to help to reduce delta G plus plus thereby take the substrate into its uh, transition state immediately and then it will fall down as a product and the enzyme is going to come out of the reaction unaltered okay so this is exactly what enzymes does in uh, reaction thereby they enhance the rate of reaction now look at the delta G here that is the Gibbs free energy of a reaction so whether it is a cat uncatalyzed reaction or catalyzed reaction so the delta G it remains the same because this is the what is the delta G here so delta G doesn't change whether it is enzyme catalyzed reaction or is an uncatalyzed reaction they both end at the same point here only what they do enzyme does is it's going to bring down the activation energy or delta G it is not going to change the delta uh, it's going to bring down the uh, activation energy that is delta G plus plus but it is not going to change delta G that is the free energy of the reaction or Gibbs free energy
Now you got to be very careful when you look at the enzyme catalyzed reactions, especially delta G and delta G++. So enzyme catalyzed reaction, so what exactly enzyme does is it is going to decrease delta G++ that is activation energy. It is not going to alter delta G that is gives free energy. So overall energy of the reaction, it remains same. Only thing that changes is delta G++ that is activation energy. Okay. So this is how our biological enzymes they are going to en uh, enhance the rate of reaction. So uh, this is what is the mechanism of enzyme action. I hope this video has helped you in understanding overall mechanism of enzyme action. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in my next video.